a bloody war is raging in eastern Gauta. For days, this rebel bastion has been under siege from the Syrian army and Russian airstrikes. The situation on the ground is disastrous. Almost a thousand civilians have been killed. But it's hard to know exactly what's happening. Hassan lives there. He sent Deutsche Welle a video he shot on his mobile phone. It provides a glimpse of daily life in eastern Gauta amid shelling and strikes. This is Hassan's story. Look at the people fleeing. Look at what's happening to us. God have mercy. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's Monday. Look at all the paper blowing about. I'm at my window. There was a bombing five minutes ago. Everyone was still asleep. They all ran into the basements. My name is Hassan Abdelaziz. I'm from the town of Duma in Gauta. I'm in my house and I'm going to show you what daily life is like for me at the moment. How we in eastern Gauta are coping with the siege and how the war is affecting us. The window panes have all been blown out. The walls destroyed everything. We keep repairing the windows, but whenever there's more shelling, they shatter again. I must have fixed this up a thousand times every two or three days. This is what life is like for us here. This is my building. This is the balcony. Look at the damage. This building is owned by my neighbor, Fawal. That one is owned by Saada, and this one by Kuli. This is a solar panel. We point it towards the sun when we need to charge our phones. This is the living room. The entire facade's gone. There are no curtains, not even windows. This is my tool set. I need it all the time. Every other day I have to repair something. Hammer, pliers, nails. You can only get dry bread these days. It's made with barley flour, which is naturally drier. Breakfast is olive oil, thyme, olives, eggs and tea. This is my home these days. I'm filling up on water. An aid organization donated this water pump. God bless them. Today, something like this would cost half a million lira. That's about a thousand euros. Digging the well, the manual pump and the sheathing all together, a half a million lira. Thank God we have it. It means we don't need diesel, electricity or generators. 
Hundreds of people, families, lived in the houses that used to be here where the pump is. This is all that's left since the bombardment began. This is a residential neighborhood near where I live. People get water from the pump for the children. These tubes lead to water tanks inside apartments. You buy 15 minutes of electricity and fill your water tank. The pipes lead from the well into the apartments. Everyone has their own tap. You have to go to the electricity guy and buy 15 minutes or half an hour, start up the motorized pump, and then you can fill your tank. The children are all outside. Everyone's glad that for now there's no shelling, and there are no planes in the sky. It's calm. There's rubble everywhere. Look at it. Look at these cars. God help us. The planes are back. There's just been a strike. This is next to my house. Look at the cars. I'm buying vegetables. At the moment, you can get parsley, garlic, spring onions, radishes, cabbage and cauliflower. There aren't many vegetables to be had. No potatoes, no aubergines or tomatoes. You can't get them at all anymore. All the agricultural land in Gauta has been destroyed. Anyone who has a garden is growing their own produce in it. I'm at a gas dealer's. These are bottles of gas, but it's not normal gasoline. It's plastic that's been melted and turned into fuel. No one can afford five or ten liters a day. They buy a liter or just half a liter or even a quarter or an eighth. Let's ask him, how much is it for a litre? 3,600 lira. That's 7 euros. And a kilo of wood? 250. That's 50 cents. Look at this, it used to be a mosaic. It got smashed to pieces. That was part of a handmade sofa. This was part of a table. All this firewood comes from doors and windows and wooden frames. They chop it into pieces and sell it as firewood for stove ovens so people can cook. Uncle, I have a few things here I'd like to sell. What are you selling, young man? This is cappuccino powder. It's a replacement for coffee. How much? 350. 70 cents and what's this? A biscuit for 350. What else have you got? Another cappuccino powder, hazelnut flavor. You're too young to be selling things. Why are you doing this? God willing, I'm doing it to help my family. How old are you? I'm 11 years and 5 days old. Have you stopped going to school? We don't have school anymore because of Assad. I pray better times are coming. All right, young man. I'll buy your biscuit. Thank you. Do you have change? I have 200. Do you have 50? Welcome, uncle. What do you have? What are you selling? 
plates. My house was shelled and I'm selling them so I can buy a loaf of bread. They're not worth anything. What do you need? I need to buy a loaf of bread. You want bread? Yes, for 200. You can't buy it any cheaper. But then you won't have anything to eat off. How will you be able to eat and drink? What choice do I have? I only eat once a day anyway. Only once a day? May God keep you healthy. How come you've left the basement? There's nothing to eat there. The planes are back and we need to take cover in the basement.